What's up guys, the Lord of Sin, and today we've got, um, um, it's kind of a new series, just like normal squad builders, not bargain builder, which I know, um, are my main videos on my channel at the moment, but, um, this is just a, um, a squad builder, this is a silver Argentinian team, and, um, which I've called Argen Silver, as you can see on the left, um, <laughs> <laughs> pretty proud of that. But um, yeah, let's get straight into it. So in goal, we've got um Bizarre Yeah, Albano Bizarri. Um I paid one point nine K for him and he's got very solid stats, bearing in mind he's a silver. You know, seventy four diving, seventy four reflex, seventy two handling, seventy kicking, seventy eight positioning. So you know, very his main like highlight stat is a seventy eight positioning. And obviously his diving and reflexes aren't too bad either. But uh, that positioning really does show off in game. He's just an all round good goalie. And for 1.9k, you can't go wrong, really. Um, and also, like, where it uh, says I've only really played two games with this team, I've played about five games against my friends, so um, I like, kind of know what I'm talking about, and, like, if um, uh, they're good or not. So, like, don't, like, go in the comments below saying that I've, I can't really tell you what they're like if they've only played two games, because I've actually played about... Five to ten games, not too sure really. Um, didn't really count. Them. But anyway, that's a bit off topic. Um, the left back here is Clement Rodriguez. I think that's how you say it. You know, 81 pace, 71 defending, 71 dribbling, 74 passing as well, which is very good. Um, yeah, and obviously, obviously you got that 74 rating, which is good, very good for a silver. Four star weak foot, and for 2.7k, you can't go wrong with him either. Um, I he's he feels a bit sluggish. Doesn't feel like 81 pace, but you know. I don't really mind. Um, the first centre back is this guy. Um, you know, 77 pace, 75 defending, 76 heading, and 68 passing, which isn't too bad. And um, as you can see, 7.9k. Uh, yeah, I did get. Well, that was the cheapest one on the market of this actual player, and he just so happened to be in my formation, so that was quite lucky. But this guy, I don't know what it is. He's just like really. He's 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 really overpowered. I found. Um, he's he's. <laughs> He can muscle pretty much every player of the ball and can keep up with him because he's got the pace. But um, I don't know what it is that makes him overpowered. He just feels it. It might be his pace, but um, you know, it, obviously he is very expensive. But he's the fastest silver Argentinian centre back. And then we go to Medina. I think that's how you say it. Med Medan. I'm not too sure, but um, one thousand coins, sixty-three pace, which is yeah, pretty slow. Seventy-seven defending though for a silver. That's really nice. And 72 heading. Um, both these centre backs are both six foot, and that left back is actually really short. I've just realised. Oh yeah, and the goalie is six foot two. But anyway, yeah, this guy is—he's not too bad. Didn't really notice him doing much. He's quite attacking as well. I found him to um, be up the pitch quite often. But you know, um, yeah, he's when he can when he does actually defend, he is actually really good. To be fair to him. And the right back, we're going to have Sosa, I think that's how you say it. This guy, yeah, you're probably looking at his stats thinking, yeah, he's not too bad. He is the fastest rare right back, um, Argentinian silver, with 72 pace and 75 passing. Only 69 defending, 64 heading. But um, all his stats are above 65, no, they're not all, they're all above 60. Um, but um, obviously he's in the wrong formation, but he still gets nine chemistry. So, and also if he's in form two and two, I'll be able to sell him off for more when I come to sell this team. But um, yeah, I'm going to tell you about this guy now. He's got 85 free kick accuracy and 88 curve, so he's actually amazing at taking free kicks. So um, that's you know that's quite good. I found um, this um, defender here. No, not defender. This midfielder here is going to be Tassone. Um, this guy's um, all, he's got good all-round stats, especially defending, but um, he's only on eight chemistry, unfortunately, because um, I didn't buy him a card. Um, but you know, um, for four hundred coins, that's very good. Um, and he's he's an alright player, you know. He's got a good shot. Um, he's his shots are either really good or really bad. That's the only bad thing about him. But when they are good, they are very good. Just thought I'd tell you that. Um, the next centre mid is, is Co. This guy has got unreal long shot. I was playing my mates um, from school, and I took a long shot with him from like about the halfway line, t and it uh, actually went in. So you know that's not too bad. Uh, got good stats: 78 pace, 72 dribbling, 72 defending, 71 passing. So they're not too bad. But this guy, yeah, he's really good for 1.5k. Next centre mid is Fowlin. Um, 
got good all round stats <laughs> again. Uh, 75 face, 76 passing, 72 dribbling, 72 defending, and 60 at heading, which isn't too bad. But this guy, is, he's more of a playmaker, I found. Um, I don't know what it is about him, but for 6.5k, I think that is quite dear for him. He doesn't really do much on the pitch. But, um, yeah, it's a pretty strong defence, defensive-wise. But, um, you know, if um, it's only really Isco who's good at long shots. And that's why he's in the centre, because, like, obviously it's better. It's easier to score long shots when you're in the centre, I find. But, you know, he doesn't really necessarily stay in the centre of the midfield. Next left, uh, the, well, the left forward we have is uh, Martin Bravo. Many of you may know him from FIFA 12, you know. Um, he obviously, he had 5-star skill and that thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think he did have 5-star skill though. And I think he was a striker as well. But obviously, in this game, he's a left wing. Actually, I think he might have been a centre forward in FIFA 12, but I'm not sure. But, um, you know, 94 pace, so he's very fast. 74 dribbling as well, and... um. You know, he's five foot six, so he's quite short, but he's still got 67 defenders, so it's not too bad for a silver. And, um, four star skill, so obviously he can do like Ronaldo chop and, uh, all that, um, kind of good stuff. And, you know, he's just all around a fantastic player for 3.6k. I'm not too sure how much he is, that wasn't a bid, I think, but, um, you know. This right forward now is Iturb, Iturbi, not too sure, but, you know, 90 pace again, so he's quite fast, 81 dribbling. So, um, you've got good dribbling for a silver, 74 rated, and yet again has 4 star skill. And, um, I bought him for 3.1k. This guy, when I want to sell this team, he's probably not going to be the one I sell. Um, I don't know why, I just really love this player. Um, he's just like, I don't know, I don't know what it is. I just, like, ever since I've used him, I've just fallen in love with him. <laughs> Seriously, he's just a really good player. And then up front, we're going to have Gonzalez. I did originally have this guy, um, Morales, I think it is. But um, he's only got seven. he's got great shooting, great heading, great dribbling. He's just got great all round stats. But you know, seventy five pace. Oh, oh, like when I oh, when I made this team, I was thinking, oh, it's fine. I've got the pace on the wings. I can have the big target man in the middle. Obviously, he's only five foot nine, but he's got good heading. So I was that's the kind of mindset I went into making this team with. But um, you know, he turned out to be like that. That was that's not how it really worked out. So I switched him for this Gonzalez guy. You know, he's, I thought it would be good with 86 pace, 70 shot as well. 70 heading, 70 dribbling. So again, he's got good all-round stats. But um, to be honest, out of the two, I definitely prefer Morales. Um, but Morales cost me 3.4k and Gonzalez cost me 1k. So there's definitely like a little difference there between them both. But um, yeah, so this is basically the final team. Um, it's cost around 30k, I think. Not too sure. Maybe about 20 to 30k. But... Um, you know, if you want to make a silver team, I recommend making this team. If you want to make it a bit cheaper, obviously you can substitute out Vela, Vela's Quez, um, the centre back, which cost me 8k, and this fouling guy. Um, there's lots more like people you can get instead of them. But you know, it's all around good team. Um, very good defensively, and obviously he's got some good pace up front. But um, you know. I don't have any goals for this episode, you know, I was gonna, that um, brings me on to the question I was gonna ask you, do you want me to, um, shall I like, add the goals in, and m like, tr only make one video a day, because obviously it takes time to get the goals, or, shall I just like, um, what's it called, just like, not get goals, and then maybe try and bring out two episodes of like, um, like two videos a day, I'm not too sure what to do. Um, let me know in the comments because thanks to injunction, I've got um, lots of, like lots of new subs, and um, my channel's actually going really well. So thanks for like, all the likes and comments and feedback I've been getting. Thanks to Jenkins for uploading my video and getting me like um, a, a little fan base go going on. But um, you know, thanks for watching this video. If you got any um, like improvements, let me know in the comments. But I'm actually probably going to sell this team. But um, thanks for watching. I've been Lordison. Well, bye.